What's up guys, I just wanted to make a quick video tonight about a potentiometer. The potentiometer in the Arduino kit. And this is this little blue thing here that you will receive in your kit when you buy this. Uh, and it's basically this square thing with three prongs at the bottom. You see that? And what this is, is basically a variable resistor. And a variable resistor because it's uh, inside, inside this resistor has an arm that wipes across a resistor and changes the voltage that comes out of it. Okay. Now, I just wanted to make a video to just showcase how it works because tonight I was going to start project three, but I ended up kind of like just bouncing around on Arduino's documentation on online. And one of the first things on the documentation, they talked about uh, the potentiometer and we'll take a look at the documentation in a quick sec, but let's take a quick overview of how I got this connected. You can see that it's a very simple circuit. I just have a 12 volt, uh, no, not a 12 volt, five volt line, the red one going into one prong of the potentiometer and then negative on the other, other prong. And then on the opposite side of these two, which is right on the middle here, it, we call it the middle prong. That is the signal line. And that is connected to the A0 analog in pin on the Arduino, okay? So five volts, ground, and signal. And so you'll see here on the, um, the potentiometer, there is three prongs, two prongs that are on both sides on the same side, and then one signal right in the middle, okay? So when you do install this onto your breadboard, make sure it straddles the middle here because this, you need to be able to separate the signal wire so it doesn't, it doesn't touch. Uh, these two here and if if you have it sitting like this on the breadboard just on one side it doesn't fit well so um, I think it's meant a design to straddle the middle uh, okay so what what is a potentiometer a potentiometer is a variable resistor all right it will change the resistance between these two wires uh, so it at basic acts as a load, but a variable load. Okay. And it depends how much of a load uh, or resistance is depending on how much you turn it essentially. And it's kind of like a, uh, I don't know what to do. What would be one, maybe like the volume on your radio, but whereas this one, the difference between the volume on your radio and your car. Uh, it has this one actually stops at a certain point, whereas on the volume on a radio, sometimes some of them just keep constantly keep spinning, right, uh, to turn down the volume. But this one does have a stopping point. So, yeah. And I kind of just wanted to show in this video how it looks like on the Arduino IDE because with this setup, you can see exactly the output that or the Arduino sees. Okay, so in this case, let's, for now, let's go on the computer and I'm going to show you the documentation because this is, will be very useful for you if you are going to play with this yourself. Okay, so here's the documentation online when you, if you go on the Arduino website, okay, docs.arduino.cc. Um, I'll have the links down below in the comments, uh, not in the comments, the description, and you can take a look for yourself. So here it is it tells us this is a 10k ohm potentiometer um, and it's a very simple circuit this is exactly how i have it connected you can see that signal wire they have here as the yellow going into the a0 analog in port and the rest is just pretty easy five volts and a ground to the other side and so that's the schematic now what you're going to need is this code here, and it's a very simple code. It's only three lines that you're going to need to make this potentiometer work. And so you can see it yourself, but let's go over what the code means. First one is serial begin 9600. All right. Serial dot begin bracket 9600 bracket semicolon. Don't forget the semicolon. You need that. All right. This one basically says that let's set up a serial communication at 9600 bits of data per second. All right, bits per second. 
and that's just a connection between your board and the computer with the with this command here what that does is essentially allows the board to communicate with the sensor uh, receive communication okay second is you're going to need int which is an integer sensor value equal analog read a o and then the third one here is serial dot print ln sensor value okay those are the only three things you're going to need to make this work and let's take a look at it here down below you can see that the first one serial dot begin bracket 9600 bracket semicolon is put within the setup portion of the sketch all right what that means is that when the Arduino powers on, the first thing it's going to do is going to start communication, uh, allowing 9600 bits per second communication between the computer and the sensor. All right. And then now in the loop portion, the loop portion is what will comp run constantly all the time um, after it's done the initial setup is that it's going, we're going to get uh, a variable called a sensor value. We're gonna set the sensor value variable as an integer, all right? And an integer is a number. And the number is going to be this value here, analog read bracket AO. What this basically is telling the computer to do is take the voltage or the, the digital signal that you have that you read on this green line here and put that as the very okay and you're going to do that because we're going to use the sensor value variable on the next line and so basically if if this is um, the analog read analog is going to be either zero to five volts right and it's basically saying tell us what the voltage is at port or pin AO and then put that as the variable sensor value. And then what's gonna happen is we're gonna take that zero to five volts value, whatever's on that pin at that time, and we're gonna put it into here. We're gonna put it into here and we're gonna print it out. So we're gonna print it out as serial dot print LN bracket sensor value. Now, serial, serial is basically the window where we're going to print this value. And that, that window is the, in the Arduino IDE, which I'm going to show you in a, a bit here. And all that does is basically take the value and then print that out onto the serial window. That's basically what's happening. So let's just go through the line, set up communication, put the value read the value and put that as a uh, variable and then take that variable and print it out on the serial window. And that's basically what we're doing here. This last portion here, they put delay one millisecond uh, and it helps with stability. So uh, it helps with like not having readings, you know, just crazily jump around. So if you have a delay, it's much more of a stable reading. Okay. All right, so let's open up the IDE now, okay? And once you have this set up, like on the board here, this exact circuit, jump into the IDE. You can go into this documentation portion here and you can copy this code if you want to, or if you're feeling very keen, you can actually, you know, code this out by hand yourself, all right? And it gives you a little practice. This is what I did by hand, so it gave me a little practice as well. Now, I already have the sketch uploaded onto the Arduino, but I can do it again just in case anybody here doesn't know how to do it. All you need to do is type in your code here, okay? Have your board connected on this drop down menu, so make sure you have it selected. Make sure you are connected to your Arduino showing down here. If it says it's disconnected, make sure you select it here in this drop down menu. After that, once you are connected and you can see that you're connected here, you just upload your sketch after you're done writing it or copy and pasting it you click upload and it's going to compile the sketch here and once it's compiled 
it's going to upload it into the Arduino and that's it it's in it's done and so now I this program is already in the Arduino okay now when uh, remember I said I was going to show you uh, the serial portion where here where it's going to print out into the serial window the serial window is these two buttons here in the corner all right this magnifying glass one and this plotter and for this potentiometer using the plotter is much more uh, it, it's much better uh, to be able to view what's going on so just click that and this new window will pop up okay and this new window is like a you know just like a graph here and you can see that I have a reading of 1024 1024 oh, sorry 1023 1023 is the maximum reading the digital version of the 5 volt output that we have on the signal line okay right now this green signal line here let's measure the voltage here I have my multimeter here and I'm going to just clamp the ground to this black probe all right just gonna pin that just like that so I don't have to hold it and I'm going to probe the signal wire at the prong here and let's see what the voltage I get so I have about Hmm, it's jumping around. Hmm. Oh, weird. Okay, something's a little loose here. Okay, so I have a much better ground now. And let me test that again. Here we go. Here you go. And I have close to 5 volts, so I'm pretty happy with that. So this thing is turned all the way max to 5 volts. And you can see on the screen here, that we have a reading of maximum 1023 okay now if i turn the potentiometer down all the way to the bottom you can see the graph is moving and i'll go all the way to the zero okay and if i take a reading again with the multimeter here and i have zero okay now what if i on the screen what if i go halfway all right if let's go to uh Right about 500 ish area right here okay and let's see our meter reading yeah about two and a half volts right around there so you can see that that's how a potentiometer works inside this potentiometer it has a wiper arm like this okay and the the, the knob is controlling this arm and you know we have positive we have negative here as well and if we are moving the arm you know depending on where the arm is it's going to read five or zero volts and in between here is a resistor and so when the arm wipes across the resistor it changes the voltage that comes out of the signal line all right and the signal line is actually connected to the arm and that's where we're getting the reading from so whatever's coming out of this arm is the signal line it comes out to this green line and it goes into the A0 uh, pin. Okay, and that's so ba that's basically how a potentiometer works. And that's how you can see it on the Arduino IDE yourself. All you need to do is upload that sketch into your Arduino, launch this, uh, launch this serial plotter, and then that's it. Play around with the potentiometer and just kind of experiment yourself to see uh, what you can learn from this. All right, uh, so there you go. That's all I really wanted to show in this video, make it a quick one. I'll have the link to the documentations down below and also the link for this product if you wanna buy it and start learning yourself. It's uh, quite fun. So yeah, that's it. I'll see you in my next video.